Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing uh, the September selection from Beauty Heroes featuring the brand Skin Owl. This month's hero product is Skin Owl's Maki Berry Beauty Drops PM. This is a face oil that claims to provide clearer, balanced, and healthy skin, visible improvement in evenness and tone, and overnight improvement in smoothness and softness. This is two fluid ounces or 60 ml and it retails for $85. This month's sidekick is the Beauty Whip Maki Berry and on the bottle here it says it's a balancing and buttery face mask but it's also a 3-in-1 product and it is a mask, a primer, and a moisturizer. This is 0.8 ounces or 23 grams and it's valued at $28 but the full size which is 2 ounces retails for $64. So Skin Owl is a brand that's about 5 years old and they're known for their ethical transparency as well as their commitment to support women and families through organic farming and they have partnerships in Morocco, Africa, Southeast Asia and now Patagonia. The founder of Skin Owl, Annie, has a history with severe acne and eczema, so I was definitely intrigued and excited to use this month's selection, um, created by a woman who's been through the struggles of having acne. The story behind how her skincare line was born is that she was traveling in Vietnam when she discovered the benefits of mangosteen, and then she enrolled herself into a cosmetic chemistry program to pursue her quest to develop natural skincare that would achieve the results she experienced in Vietnam. What's interesting is that the Maki Berry Beauty Drops is a relaunch of last year's Beauty Heroes um, Hero product in March 2016, which was the Mangosteen. The Mangosteen Beauty Drops is a product I've been hoping to try sometime this year. I've had a couple of people recommend that product to me, and a few months back when I was video chatting with Jeannie, who is the founder of Beauty Heroes, um, I was talking to her on Skype and I was asking her what her hero product was, like what her favorite Beauty Heroes uh, selection was, and also like what her husband really likes, and if he even uses products you know, that Beauty Heroes carries. And she'd mentioned that the Mangosteen Beauty Drops is her husband's number one hero product. So since I had this item tucked away to purchase in the near future, when I opened up my box this month and I saw the sticker here and it said Skin Owl, I got really excited because my first thought was, oh my gosh, it's the Mangosteen Beauty Drops. I feel like Beauty Heroes has been reading my mind almost every month this year, starting in January with the Maya Chia selection. And then some other favorites were the Josh Rosebrook box, um, the Mahalo, and now Skin Owl. So when I was unboxing this month's selection, I was pretty bummed that it wasn't the Mangosteen Beauty Drops, but then I learned it's because the Mangosteen that Annie's been sourcing has become unsustainable for her Southeast Asian partners. So instead, she discovered the Maki Berry, which is um, it's a berry that's native to Patagonia, and it has 10 times the amount of antioxidants that Mangosteen has. So the superpower ingredients in the new formulation is maki berry, which is good for calming, clearing, protecting, and brightening, and baobab, which is good for anti-aging, balancing, nourishing, and softening. You guys know how much I love my orange creamsicle scents. I know I've mentioned it a bunch of times in my videos, and this smells exactly like that and that's because there's a proprietary blend of tangerine and vanilla essential oils in here it's so good and this product is intended for all skin types on the bottle here it says use 7 to 10 drops in place of your PM moisturizer. So the first week I was testing this out, I cleansed my face in the evening and then I toned with uh, Josh Rosebrook's hydrating accelerator and then I applied this. I didn't add any moisturizers on top because I was curious to see how this would perform on its own. After about three or four days of using this as my um, PM moisturizer with nothing else on top, my skin felt pretty dry and it was most noticeable in the mornings when I would apply my makeup. Like I would look in the mirror and I would see visibly dry skin, like especially on my cheeks. Nothing else in my morning routine changed in terms of the products I was using. So after my initial trial period, I started applying the Sidekick product, the Beauty Whip, underneath the Beauty Drops. And that restored the moisture back into my skin, like I was no longer experiencing the dry flakes in the mornings. 
In my experience for my skin type, which is sensitive acne prone, it's almost never enough for me to use an oil by itself. I always have to layer with a moisturizer of some kind, whether it's a night cream or a balm. So I'm not surprised one bit that I couldn't use this on its own. But maybe if you have oilier skin, um, this might do the trick by itself for you. What I learned from the fold out provided by Beauty Heroes is that Maki Berry has proven to help calm acne flare-ups, rosacea, and hyperpigmentation when applied topically or taken internally. As someone that deals with uh, the marks left over by old acne, I haven't noticed any dramatic results um, thus far regarding my hyperpigmentation. But whenever I try out a product that claims to help with hyperpigmentation, I like to give it way more time. Um, I have only been using this for about three weeks now, so the results of like how it's helping fade um, the marks on my face is still to be determined. I'm definitely going to continue to use this product because I'm curious about how my skin's going to look after using a whole bottle of this in rotation with my other face oils. So now that I know that I can't use the beauty drops on its own, in the evenings I will cleanse my face, tone, and then I'll add the 7 to 10 drops of this. And on top I will layer either the Josh Rosebrook uh, Vital Balm Cream, a Stark Skin Care's Aurora Balm, or the uh, Beauty Whip. So I like using the beauty drops with the beauty whip more than I like using the drops by itself. But honestly, this combo isn't my favorite just because in the evenings um, before I go to bed, I do like to go to sleep with something like richer and more moisturizing for my skin. Um, and that's why I prefer the drops with either my night cream or my balm. But so far, I have been really enjoying this product. It smells great and it hasn't irritated my skin at all. Moving on to the sidekick, the Beauty Whip is a 3-in-1 product and I love the ingredients list. Um, this contains hyaluronic acid, olive and jojoba oil, rosehip seed oil, maki berry, rubis, and green tea. And this product is also intended for all skin types. And I was looking forward to using this for its multitasking abilities. So the first way that you can use the Beauty Whip is as a primer under makeup and it's supposed to help your skin look really radiant. Um, it can be used under your beauty drops, which I have tried. And also you can use this as a treatment mask. You could either leave it on for 30 minutes or you can wear this overnight. So my first impression of this product was that I found the scent uh, to be pretty interesting because when you first pump it out, it kind of smells like faintly of rubbing alcohol. But once you um, blend it out, all I smell is a very subtle like olive oil scent. Yeah, like whatever that rubbing alcohol scent I was initially smelling, um, I don't smell it anymore. So I have my thoughts on using the Beauty Whip um, all three ways. So first as a makeup primer, I have used this under makeup, but I don't normally use primer on an everyday basis. So to me, it just felt like an extra step. And I'm currently really happy with my AM skincare routine. So I don't want to add another product into that. And at the same time, there's nothing there's nothing in my routine now that I would take out to make room for this. So I will not be continuing to use this as a makeup primer. So of the three ways that I can use the Beauty Whip, um, the one I like the most is to use these two together as an overnight treatment. Now, the third way you can use the Beauty Whip is as a mask. And I personally prefer like more decadent masks like um, last month's selection, Mahalo's uh, The Bean. And so when it is time for me to have my mask night and I see my lineup, I find that I don't like reach for this excitedly. Like I would much rather go for Mahalo's The Bean or my Lil Fox Cleopatra mask or the Jungle Glow. And so, yeah, I mean, I guess this would better be suited this would be better suited for someone who likes to you know sleep with an overnight mask or someone that just enjoys the step of using a primer and now that i'm like saying this out loud and thinking it through i think um, this product would be better if i just gifted this to one of my friends um, who likes using primers or overnight masks so that's just my honest opinion. I haven't had a negative experience with this product, but I just know it's not something that I currently need in my um, skincare rotation. 
The total value of this month's box is 113 US dollars, but as a Beauty Heroes member, you can experience this selection for $39, and that includes shipping if you're in the US. And this selection will be available to you until September 20th. And please keep in mind that if you become a Beauty Heroes member, you do have to sign up for a minimum of three months. I want to share this month's Love More gift with you. Actually, I don't even know what this month's uh, Love More gift is. Oh, it's still going on. So the Love More gift is uh, when you shop at the online Beauty Hero store. If you spend over $125, you get a deluxe size sample as a gift with purchase. Um, and usually you have to spend $125, but the promotion from last month is still going on. If you spend $75 or more at the beauty store, you have a choice of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different products that you can choose from. You can choose one out of the seven. So definitely go check that out if there's anything uh, you need to stock up on. Later this month, Beauty Heroes is releasing a seasonal makeup discovery. And if you are a Beauty Heroes member, um, that makeup box is not going to take place of your monthly selection so you'll still get your monthly selection and the makeup box will be available as a one-time purchase whether you're a member or not actually there is a slight price difference though I haven't played around with any new makeup recently so I'm excited to receive that I haven't gotten my box yet but when I do I'm planning to film a get ready with me video just so that I can show you guys uh, the application process and what it looks like on my skin and and skin tone. Uh, I think that's everything. I hope you guys found this review helpful. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I'm happy to answer them for you. And if you receive this month's Skin Owl selection, I'd love to hear about your experience. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!